Welcome back to the New Zealand adventure. We've been slowly making our way through the country and it's been a lot of fun. We are hardcore Lord of the Rings fans, so this week we decide that we're gonna visit Queenstown to see if it's CGI or is it just natural beauty. Let's go to Queenstown. Feel much today we actually made it to Queenstown you'll be open but we mostly stayed in the new section because we just went to pack pack and save and then we did a bit of a buying a splurge our finances are down please pay for the patreon <laughs> we are no patreon <laughs> um, but yeah, we wanted to do a little haul. So we got new water bottles that are metal. Sean broke the last one, so Sean broke I my said, last one. I said, let's get metal instead of plastic. And they're really, really light, first of all. Mm. Nine, uh, no, ten dollars. Ten dollars, even less, For like a six metal euro. Water bottle, that's a litre. Let's go to the big ticket item here, Lena. Let's, okay. let's cut to the chase. What do we buy? What do we, don't mind Guys. the mess here. Yeah, listen, we live in a small van, all right? What's that, Lena? What's that? Sean, is it not just the North Face Stormbreak 3? We got a tent! We got a tent! We got it in Bivouac. It was on sale. It was $500. And we got it for $350. Bargain. Bargain. Uh, we actually set it up in the shop itself just to actually see if Sean got in it and it looked great and very excited to use it. So, because we decided, you know, I uh, want a good backpacking tent that will last us a while. We decided, you know what, let's invest in a good tent. It was a great price, so we're super excited to use it. Hopefully in the next week or two, definitely on the South Island, we're at least going to do one on the South Island. Uh, hike up, camp out, hike down. But yeah, we're in Queenstown. We haven't even showed you guys where we're staying. Oh, stop it, Lena. This place is magical. We've been here a few hours, relaxing. Let's have enjoying a Enjoying the views. Oh wow, look at this casual, like mountain range that's just on the foot of a lake that we're, what? 10 feet away from the shoreline. So this is our beautiful view. Look at that. Stop. And it just keeps going, like we can zoom in. It just keeps going. I got stripped in. <laughs> go, 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 go. Alina, great job. It's freezing. That's glacier water, essentially. Yeah. That's coming off these snow-capped mountains. Good job. Today, we won. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? I'm feeding Sean. I was out fishing. Caught nothing, guys. Caught nothing again. What am I supposed to do in this country? The fish don't want to be caught. Oh. To be fair, I think we're in a bad spot here. So, I think they're deeper in the water. I think. I don't know. I'm a novice. I don't know these things. But yeah, Lena's been kind enough to offer to make me a wrap uh, with some leftovers from yesterday and then some uh, falafel insides that we bought instead of hummus. Some protein. I uh, get this into us. Yeah, we just hit 500 subscribers. Mm. What? Obviously, it will be on different amounts. Oh when yeah. By the time this by the time this is out, 
which is in a couple of months' time. Who knows what we're on? But 500, and I still want to talk about it. It's still a big moment mm. in our um, in so our YouTube, YouTube careers. It's pretty That's cool. Me, baby. We're halfway to a thousand. A thousand is the big milestone for any YouTube channel. I like to just say I didn't expect over 20. To be honest, I'm still shocked. It's over 20. Oh, so. stop, man! I didn't expect 20 views. Never mind 20 subscribers. <laughs> I was like, no one's gonna watch this. Why would anyone pay attention to us? I mean, 20 as in our family and friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the New Zealand vlogs. We're gonna keep making vlogs. We're having a great time making them. So yeah, thanks. We're gonna eat these pretty soon. Alina is a professional at wrapping. Oh, Ooh, apart no. from one rogue tofu here. Get it in, get it in. We didn't say anything. But Alina's very good at wrapping a wrap. I worked in a wrap uh, canteen for College. Good on you, Lena. The things you learn. Crazy. It's actually a thick boy. Thank you, Lena. Oh, that is thick. Right, I'm gonna get this into me, guys, because I'm hungry. Queenstown had everything you could want, from huge supermarkets to small little knick-knack tourist shops. The city itself felt very pedestrian friendly, loads of hiking shops and on this day in particular there was some kind of festival going on. It's known to be the adventure capital of New Zealand, but we're here for one thing, two hobbits on a mission to see movie locations. Right, we just left Queenstown. And Very nice. No, oh, we loved Queenstown, really cool vibe. Uh, it is a Saturday, so everyone's on the beer <laughs> at like 1 p.m., love it. Um, but yeah, we're making our way down to the campsite. But before we get to the campsite, there's actually a few steps. Stop number one. The wind here is terrible, guys. You have to bear with us, sorry. This spot is where they fought Saruman's Urukai in Fellowship of the Ring at the very end. Spoilers. Spoilers, but we all know the Urukai are like the coolest of the ones. Yeah. They're like the upper tier. I have memories of pretending to be an Orokai <laughs> when I was like eight years old, running around in school. We'd play Lord of the Rings at lunchtime. So supposedly okay. it's in this kind of section. So we'll do a little walk, you know, nothing crazy. And then our next stop is actually the lookout where Sam and Frodo and Schmeagol saw the elephants. The real question, Sean, who's going to be Aragon? Who's going to be Boromir? I feel like I'm Aragon. What? I was going to say you're Boromir. What the hell? Sean! Oh, Boromir's the worst. <laughs> In the books, he's not. Any good work, Sean? No. Oh? He's kind of cool. I think that's the, the green stone. Let's see. Uh, you see here. Take it. In New Zealand. That's a cool one. That's coming home. You're coming home with me. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're getting close. Some climb. Look how high up we are already. Jesus. That's a nice picture now. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Nice soft. <laughs> oh, that is soft. It's very soft. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a it's like a soft arrowhead. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Right. Who's gonna be by our man, Sean? Rock, paper, scissors? I don't know the scene you're talking about, if I'm honest. 
What does Barmer oh, say? Barmer. What, what, I don't know what I say is Aragon. I, I tried to take the ring from Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. See, you're a good Barmer. You snake. <laughs> right. What do I say? That, that is... We need to watch it. We need to watch it. I'm weak, guys. I'm so weak. I don't remember. I'll direct you. <laughs> Where? Oh wait, no. I tried to take the ring and throw it up. Uh, that's all I remember. Hush now, brother. You're my king. Jesus. Come here. Boromir, take my hand. That was fun. That was fun. So we're here. We're at another lookout point. Here we have two scenes. One is with the elephants, and then the other one is the classic scene with Sam trying to teach Smeagol how to cook potatoes. So, a bit of a dilemma. Um, yeah, it's not like gated off path, but it's a um, it roaded a lot. Yeah, it looks quite dangerous. You can see the path there. Yeah, it's eroding a lot. There's a warning sign being like, watch out for the path eroding. Yeah, and Sean doesn't feel yeah, well. I don't feel great. I don't know what's going on, guys. I've got really low energy, I'm getting like tingles all over my body. Come but this is more. basically the location. Yeah, it looks very similar. It does look very similar. Like, I can see some elephants over here, you know. Yeah, literally, like. And then the, CG. the river. So, oh, Mr. Frodo, elephants. Potatoes. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Seen. <laughs> Very good. We well, get you That's an Oscar. We get you an Oscar, Alina. <laughs> right, come on, we head back. Yeah. So we've camped up. I made Sean some soup. Lovely view. Look at that. What a sunset. But yeah, the reason why we're inside is because um, a lot of sandflies, probably the most we've seen, literally impossible being outside. They just swarm you. Literally, I went to get some food in the back and there was like 20 sandflies surrounding me. It was actually... I've never seen anything like it, so we're just going to stay inside, have some tea, and watch Lord of the Rings. Still. It's like 9 30, I'd say. 9 41. It's a windy day. That's why we're inside because you won't hear me at all. So we're at the Isengard lookout. Honestly, as soon as we got to. What is this place called again? Sorry. It's. Glenorchy. Glenorchy. Uh, it's known for many scenes in Lord of the Rings. Um, the two kind of famous ones is. So here we have Isengard. A bit further on, we have where Galadriel lives. And just a little bit, I think it's called Mount Erinslaw, is like the Misty Mountains. So, let's go. I have to get my coat though. It's cold, guys. It's super windy today. Yeah, I was struggling to control the car, the, honestly. Yeah, the van is like shaking. Um, windy one, windy morning. But we're here. We've only got a day up here, so we gotta make use of it. Isn't that right, Alina? Yeah, so we've got to have a look around, a few videos, a few pictures, and then we'll get back in the car and head to the next location. As Lena said, there's kind of three locations around here. Oh, there's three locations around here, so we'll try to get to all of them. 
and then we actually booked a powered campsite for this afternoon and evening so we can charge up everything get a shower um, yeah we're gonna edit a vlog as well did you hear that guys I'm going oh, out. look how much this is shaking that's just the wind well that was Alina here's Alina She's getting shooketh. Hey guys, this is where they filmed Isengard, which is where Saruman yeah. resides. They, they used a few locations for Isengard yeah, to kind of film the, you know, spots and all. But this is one of the backdrops. Take one, um, Saruman walking sea. Oh, my hands are freezing, come on. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. It's cold. All right, so we're at location number two. Melina, what's the name of this one? So here we are in La Florian. And you feel it. You mm. feel it. It's a very old kind of forest. The trees are huge. That's a really nice forest. Really old, huge trees. The road to here is quite treacherous. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> um, it's like a, a it's thousand an, potholes yeah. on the way here. The moss on the bark. It's actually so cool. Obviously lichen as well. But the variation is just phenomenal. It goes the whole way up. I can see a gimli. I got eyes like a hawk and ears like a fox. <laughs> We've been in a couple of New Zealand forests now. And, and they're all enchanting. They are enchanting. This one is different. Mm. The like leaves are smaller. Mm. Yeah. You know? And do you know what? There's a lot more area. Like in yeah, the other, well, I, I think that's what what was important for filming. Mm, yeah, because yeah. like in a lot of other forests, the the kind of ground area is just full of small saplings. Whereas here, it's very open. I think wants a picture on her phone. Yes. So a bit of dialogue. So basically, the mountain one that we wanted to go to called Kara. I'm putting the name up there. You know us and pronouncing things. Um, but basically, it was the Missing Mountain Pass before they got into Moria. Uh, yeah, honestly, the best way to see it is a helicopter ride. And we kind of saw it in the distance. Yeah, and the road's just kind of treacherous. Yeah, if we had like a 4x4, four four, no problem. Mm, you know? But we only have two-wheel drive, don't we? Yeah. Two-wheel drive. And I'm not f***ing stuck. Yeah, it's not the place you want to get stuck with, no. no. And we've very, we've little to no cell reception. There's so, no cell reception. yeah. So, we've decided, you know what? We've seen some two magical spots. Let's head back to Queenstown. Yeah. Uh, it's an hour drive. An hour yeah, and six yeah. minutes. And you know what? That's probably longer when you, when you factor in how slow you're actually going to go on this road yeah, because yeah. it's very treacherous. And hopefully, we don't come across anyone. Um, but we'll take it easy. We'll take it nice. We're in no rush. We have a 2 p.m. check in. Do I want to get pies? Is the sky blue? Of course Can I want to get pies. Can we save? Mm, we could go pack and save. Because it's we still have time. Check-in is until 2. Mm. What do you want to get in pack and save? Uh, wine. Oh yeah, we can get some wine. That'd be nice.
hearty beef, mince and cheese, right peppers. Oh, it's the jalapenos. I'm Ooh. tempted to go for a peppered steak and jalapeno. We managed to check into our campsite and just kind of relax for the night. We try not to show it too much, but we've been driving a lot. So we definitely needed a bit of rest. Did some dinner, had our wine, watched Lord of the Rings, of course. And next week we'll be making our way up to Wanaka. Like always, take it easy. Where's the wine?